So, we're going to do some ninja roast beef tonight. So we've got beef. I put all the fat and the suet on the top. I put some rosemary on there as well. A little bit of salt. We've got some sweet potato. We've got carrots. We've got parsnips. We've got roast potatoes. The fat I've put in is ghee or g, however it's pronounced. It's clarified butter, Indian sort of clarified butter. Nice, rich, nutty flavour. So, we've put this on with the temperature and so on. We've got to put the probe in there, in the middle, for the beef, because we've selected that we want it medium. Already beef, so put it in. So, we're going to put it in now. And, hopefully, this is going to roast nicely. So, the current temperature is 11 degrees, the target temperature is only 53 degrees, no, 53 degrees in the middle. So it's going to cook it up nice and hot on the outside, when the middle's at 53, that should be done. We'll see. It'll be quite interesting because if we can have a roast with so little fuss and so little mess, brilliant. The veg and that could be a little bit overcooked, but if we take out the veg and potatoes are done, then we'll at least we'll have something because we're quite happy with it rare and we'll know how to adjust it in the meantime. Okay, so we're just over a quarter of an hour. I'm just going to lift it to have a quick look. Oh, the veg is looking good. The meat's looking nice on the outside. Potatoes looking good. Right, okay. They got right. Okay, so it's been half an hour now. So we're going to have a look and we're going to put the Yorkies in. And that's looking good. I'm going to flip these over. Flip everything over, get the fat on everything, and uh, I'm trying to, <laughs> trying to put the fat on everything with a slotted spoon. Oh, I can't tilt it like I, no. like I would a, a normal. I think I can. No, I don't. No, it won't. You have to lift it right out. You can't tilt it very easily. Do you not? Okay. Because it's deep. Okay, so I can tilt it slightly to get my my juices flowing, as it were. Not as much as normal. I can't angle it as much as normal, but at least I can do it a little bit. So we can baste our veg. I'm losing all the heat, but this will take less time to heat up again than a normal oven. So that's not too bad. Put some over the top there. It's actually looking really good. I'm really impressed. Smells amazing. I think we're on a winner here for a, for a nice sort of like evening roast. You know, you don't have to wait till the weekend. You can do it any night of the week with this. You do roast for one, roast for two. So there we go. We stick the stick the uh, home bought. <laughs> Aunt Bessie's in. How, how long do they normally take? I was now saying to flip the beef. No. But we don't need to. No, I wouldn't. No, we don't need to. It's not. It's That's not optional. So. The Yorkies normally take about four or five minutes. So we'll all in the oven from frozen. That's what I just said, yeah. Okay, well we'll oh, see. Oh no, no, before. sorry, no, twelve minutes those ones. Okay. We've now been forty-five minutes. We're one degree off our setting for rare. Look, 45 minutes, there we go, and our roast is ready, and that's including me open to film, so how does that look? That looks good, actually. Um, maybe should have put the roast, uh, the Yorkshires in a few minutes before, but, because they look a little bit pale, they're starting to, so I'm saying, but they're, they're all right, they're acceptable, potatoes look good, veg looks good. We're going to leave that there to, to rest. So it says resting, so it's counting. Oh, it's got to rest now. Oh. Smells good. Smells really good. Mm. I mean, I'm not too fussed about the Yorkshire puddings. I mean, they weren't proper Yorkshire puddings, so it's not massively relevant as a test. Maybe it adds to it. The only thing we've had to make separately is the gravy, which is quite normal. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's await it. Okay, so here we are. So, the fat, suet, dripping, what have you, that's rendered down nicely and all dripped off. I'm just going to whip that off, because neither of us like the fat on it anyway. But that will give us a little idea of what our beef is looking like. So that's quite nice. Let them go to the dogs, they'll be quite happy. So, 
let us slice into it. We've gone for medium. And it looks like medium we've got. That looks decent. Mm. That's how I like it. It's really good. Yeah, really good. I like my red. That'll be lovely that for cold really cuts good. as well. It's really good in a beef and pickle lily or beef and horseradish sandwich. Yeah, that, that looks good. Looks like a really good bit of roast beef. Now I'm going to have a little taste. Bit from the outside. The outside's really, really good. That's spot on. That is absolutely spot on. Cool. Mm. Success. Mm. Look at that. That is a 45 minute one pot roast. And that looks amazing. Look at the blood that's come out of that. We've selected rare, so it, sorry, we've selected medium, so it's nice and red inside. We've got plenty of blood. We haven't let it rest, which would let the blood soak into it. But that's because we're hungry. We don't want to let it rest. But that is looking perfect, and the flavour of the beef is spot on. So that's my empty plate. I've got to be honest, as dismissive as I could have been with the ninja, I haven't been. Much to our surprise. That beef is perfect. That roast that we've just done, our first time doing a roast in that, has matched any roast I've made the normal way in an oven in 30 years. Mm -hmm. It was it was spot on. And it took less than an hour. Yeah, 45 minutes from, from start to finish. Frozen, frozen um, parsnips and carrots chucked in at the start with the beef, which was from the fridge. Mm -hmm. Nice sized piece, about a kilo of topside. Um, frozen Yorkies just chucked in separately at the end. Frozen roasties, um, which were the same as if we parboiled them and, mm -hmm. and done them with the with the oil. And everything has been spot on. What we did do at the end, while I was carving the beef, just to keep things hot and to, to keep them crispy, was I just whacked it onto air fry, just for like two, three minutes. And and um, whether that made a difference or not, I don't know, in crisping things up, but certainly things came out and stayed crispy. So, Food Ninja, hey! <laughs>